Hi, this is Zach from Ever. In this video, I will show you how to easily install the Ever in-wall relay switch to control two separate light bulbs using this existing double light switch. Let's get into it. First of all, let me introduce the product. The Ever in-wall relay switch is a two-part product. Here we have the smart relay, and here we have the smart switch subassembly. For the smart relay, this is installed near the light or light fixture itself. It supports almost any type of light bulb, incandescent, halogen, LED, you name it. There is no minimum load requirement, and once installed, your lights will be 100% flicker free. Then, for the smart switch subassembly, this installs near the mechanical switch for the light itself. It's incredibly small, incredibly compact, needs no neutral wire for installation. Two of these can fit in almost any electrical box, which means this supports up to four gang wall switches. Although this is a two-part product, you don't necessarily have to install the smart switch subassembly if you don't plan on using the mechanical light switch to control your lights. However, we do still recommend installing this because by installing it, you ensure that the smart relay in the lighting fixture always is delivered power, which means even if you accidentally turn the mechanical light switch off, you can still control the smart relay over Wi-Fi. The Ever in-wall relay switch is also a hardwired solution, which means even if your internet or Wi-Fi completely cuts out, you can still control your lights using the mechanical light switches. Now let's take a look inside these boxes. We'll start with the smart relay. When we open this box, we will first find a small mounting screw, followed by the smart relay itself. At the bottom, we'll find an instruction manual, as well as a double-sided foam pad. For the smart switch subassembly, when we open this up, we will first find two panel connector wires, followed by the smart switch subassembly itself, and at the bottom, the instruction manual. You'll notice that the smart switch subassembly does not have a separate foam pad. That is because we already have one installed on the back. Ever offers different HomeKit, Zigbee, and Z-Wave versions of the in-wall relay switch system. Here we need one smart switch subassembly and two smart relays. For this demonstration, we will be using the HomeKit version of the Ever in-wall relay switch system. First, a word of caution. These devices should only be installed by a qualified and licensed electrician. Please make sure to follow all of your local guidelines and legislation for electrical installation. Also, before installing the in-wall relay switch, we must make sure that the power is off at the main breaker or electrical service panel. Also, let's prepare these three tools for later. Voltage tester, cable cutter, and screwdriver. Once we've confirmed that the power is off, we're ready to begin the installation. Note that you can install these in either order, it doesn't really matter, but for this demonstration, we will start by installing the smart switch subassembly. We start by removing the faceplate from the wall switch. As you can see, here we have European standard wiring. The live wire is brown, the load one wire is black, and the load two wire is gray. Note that the standard color codes for these wires vary from region to region and country to country. If you are not sure about the wire color, you can try briefly turning on the power and testing the wires with a voltage tester. If you find a wire that always has voltage regardless of whether the switch is turned on or off, this is the live wire. There is no voltage or current flow in the other wires when the switch is off. Then, once again, turn off the power to proceed. Now we can connect the brown live wire to the L connector at the top of the smart switch subassembly. Connect the black load 1 wire to the L1 connector, and the gray load 2 wire to the L2 connector. Next, collect both of the small panel connector wires. Take the black and red one and insert it into the SW1 jack on the smart switch subassembly, and then connect the black and white one to the SW2 jack. Next, take the small red wire and connect it to the L1 terminal of the light switch. Connect the small white wire to the L2 terminal of the light switch, and connect both of the black wires to the L terminal on the light switch. Installation of the smart switch subassembly is now complete, and we can put everything back in the electrical box. Now that we're finished with the smart switch subassembly, we can move on to the smart relay. We start by removing the cover of the light fixture as usual. 
Once open, detach the two wires that go into the light bulb. Find the live wire and connect that to the L terminal at the top of the smart relay. Then find the neutral wire and connect that to the first N terminal on the top of the smart relay. Fasten both of these screws. Then find the live wire from the light and connect that to the out terminal at the top of the smart relay. Finally, find the neutral wire from the light and connect that to the remaining in port on the top of the smart relay. Fasten those screws as well. Once you make sure the connections are good and the screws are properly tightened, go ahead and take the smart relay and the light fixture and put them back in place. Repeat the above steps to install the second smart relay as well. Now that we're done, it is safe to go ahead and go back to the breaker to turn the electricity on. If we wired everything correctly, then if we flip these light switches, the light should turn on as well. Now we have completed the physical installation. The next step is to scan the respective QR codes to set up the smart relays on your network. To keep this video short, we have skipped demonstrating this in this video, but you can find an in-depth tutorial for adding the relay switch to Apple HomeKit in the video description below. For adding the Zigbee or Z-Wave versions of the Inwall relay switch to their respective networks, please follow the instructions provided with your Zigbee 3.0 or Z-Wave gateway. As you can see, we can now control both of these lights, not only with our phone, but also with the original double light switch. As I mentioned before in the video, even if we have both of these light switches turned off, we can still access and turn on these lights over the internet using our phone. That's it for this video. Now it's time for you to start enjoying the ever in-wall relay switch in your home.